Good morning everybody, this is another part 3 of our second day Dialogue's EVO training. Okay, so after you created the road and all the designs, the fences and everything, now we will proceed to the landscaping and one of the requirements is to create this contour object, also this middle island that has flowers inside and also the landscaping on the other side of the site and also this one the grassland uh, near this temple okay so we will start working on it now let's go back to our original uh, dialogues evo file and go to the plan view and we will start working on this island small island with flowers inside so go back to the object tab and select the draw extrusion body and then draw this um, island flower of island so again be patient because there are so many curves and you need to put a lot of points on that and yeah so let's do like this okay and then close polygon and right click so you can see now this one is one meter we will change it again in two 0.1 you need to check the height of uh, this plant box later on in our elevation views so for now I assume that this is 0.1 because we will put the grassland and the fl uh, flower box here inside so you can copy this object control C and control V and go to the elevation view and put it up and then edit the lines and or yeah edit the polygons or maybe you can scale it if it's possible okay let's go and scale it and you need to follow the lines here to fit inside this box okay I think this is not correct so we will edit the polygon again and then so if it's not if it's not fitting then we need to edit the polygon and adjust it um, one by one okay so this is the grassland now because what we created before is the pattern for the plant box or the island and now we will make this one as the grassland okay so now it's done we can make this um this plant box is 0.1 we will make this one as 0 0.01 so it will be look like um, um soil on top of the plant box so go to your texture materials go to the materials tab press the select button and then go to the catalogs and material catalogs and then go to the out outer tab and select the floor and select the other so we can get the grassland because if you put texture you will appreciate what you did so let's go and put a texture now you have your beautiful island or plant box so we can put another uh, box inside for the flower beds or for the flowers so either we will go and copy this one again and then edit the polygon or we can create using the draw extrusion body for now let's go and copy it control C and then control V and then go back again to the elevation view then make this one as 0.3 for example because these are uh, flowers and then we will go to the plan view and scale it so it will fit to the lines then scale it again and then scale it again so if it's not fitting then we need to edit the polygon uh, polygon again so right click and edit the polygon so the other ways is to create a new polygon or you just need to edit this one so whichever is more suitable to you or more easier for you then do like that but for now we um, copy the soil or the green the grass and then we will create the uh, flower beds 
So if you want to add points, like um, you think you need to add one more points, just right click, right click, and add point. It's like that. Okay. And if you want to delete points, just go and delete points. Right click again and delete point. So we are now creating the flower bed. Okay, so I think it's fine. And then go and deselect and go and. So we are thinking to put a texture of flower bed. So go to your Google search and let's select for some texture for flower. Say flower bed. And then we will use the same texture for our Dialogs Evo file. And then go to the image. And don't forget to put texture at the end of the search. Flower bed texture. And then this one is looking good. So we will select this one. So right click and save image. And we can save it in our, um, let's say my documents or my picture. Say flower bed. And then save. <coughs> And then go back to your Dialogs Evo file and then go to the Materials tab and press the Create Texture Material and then go to your Picture folder and select the flower bed that we downloaded from Google. And now we have our texture in the flower bed and just drag and drop. Now you have your beautiful flower bed. So that's it. For the other one, with this other contour, just follow this one and uh, make sure that this one is higher than this one and this one and this one until you create a small mountain. So this is the example. Let's go back to the target uh, design that we are creating right now. See, these are all objects with different contour heights. So just keep on doing that. Just keep doing that until you finish all the contours on this side. Okay, so continue working on that.